I think the global Ebola response uh, convened by the Mr. Secretary General is extremely important. Uh, we have uh, collectively, with the generosity of countries and of course with the development partners, but most importantly, the leadership of the three presidents in the three Ebola affected countries and their people have mounted a very robust response to the Ebola outbreak. We are seeing results, but we are not out of the woods yet. We need to continue the effort to make sure that we get to zero and maintain zero, and at the same time to rebuild health systems and other systems to make sure that the three Ebola affected countries can you know, regain all the achievements they have done and uh, build further uh, progress. So, uh, it has been proven that Ebola can be beaten. And we did that you know, uh, in the last 40 years. But the situation that we are dealing with in these three Ebola countries are much more challenging. The answer is absolutely yes. The strategy that we are using is working. And we have managed to bend the curve. And we are down to 20 to 30 cases per week compared to uh, more than 100 cases at its peak. So the strategy works. But it is important that the community is on the side of the government, work with the government and support the government and get to zero and maintain at zero and to rebuild the countries. Well, what needs to be done is, you know, the public health measures are proven uh, time and time again. As I said, the most important thing is community engagement, but international support. Uh, at this point in time, we must guard against complacency. We must continue with the generosity of the international development partners to support these three countries. I think the World Health Organization is proud to be working with these three countries and we have seen the leadership of the three presidents and their people and all the you know, healthcare workers and the responders. Their courage is what uh, you know, inspire all of us to do more.